I'm a game developer and I spent 24 hours trying to make my own Vampire Survivors clone. This was a super fun challenge and I hope you enjoy. Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm gonna be live for the next 24 hours. I'm not happy about this. Um, I was actually blackmailed into doing this by, by Game Mick. No, I wasn't. I cleaned under my desk yesterday and I found this duck. I don't know where it came from. I don't know who he is, but he's with us today. Name it Thumb. Yeah, we'll call him Thumb. Thumbs up. So here's the exciting thing about this 24 hours. Not only do I want to make a game, but I want I want a master game maker over the next 24 hours. We got a brand new project here. Basically, I want to make this in 2D and have it as like an Easter egg with inside of the game that you can play in the game. And for context, the person you play as in this game is a gnome. We're going to have to make a 2D version of this guy. The first thing we need to figure out, right, is the camera. Because I don't know how cameras work in Game Maker. Because all, all I've ever made is like static games. I think I did it in my seven days shorts, but I, I don't remember how. Create object obj underscore player. And then we drag that in. And now we go to our room. Boom. Okay, he's, he's way too big. Place him in the middle. And let's get to work on some player movement. I don't know what the best way to do this is. What the f why is this running in browser? I mean, it's working. There we go. We have movement. Do we go with like melee weapons? I think we start with the hammer, right? What we'll do for now is just create like a, a prototype sprite. Okay, so we need to make this rotate around our player like so. I think if we go inside the hammer, go to the step of, oh, we're going to create, we'll just create like uh, rotation speed. Yeah, there we go. So now it's rotating around us. That's awesome. We need image angle now which we can, I think we can use the current angle, but we might have to change some stuff. If we say image angle is the current angle, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, something's not adding up. But like, if you forget about the movement speed, right? This is this is my problem right now. If I get rid of the, the movement, look at how slowly it's rotating. That doesn't make sense to me. Look at this, so it's rotating around its pivot in Allegedly radians. Oh, wait, maybe image angle takes degrees. Maybe that's what the problem is. Measured in degrees. Why? I'm the greatest programmer who's ever lived. The greatest of all programmers. So now we have a bit of a hammer. What kind of a hammer, is it? One that hits things. Okay, so we need enemies. Move speed equals zero. We can do a really easy check here. If obj underscore player dot y is greater than move or our y then we just set move y equal to one b speed equal to move y and then if we place one in the room it should just like copy us on the vertical axis and then when he gets to us he stops and then follows us okay so we have our move speed multiply that by our move speed and then let's do the same thing for x all right, so that should be the AI done, or the, literally done for every enemy. Whoa, okay, no, way too fast. There we go, much nicer movement than what we had before. 22 hours, ah, uh, what the Okay, we need to add in the interaction now. So, I actually think this is really easy. I think in add event, we can just add a collision with the enemy. Although this is probably better to do on the enemy itself. What we'll do is if we collide, we'll just show a debug message. There we go, yeah. Collision detection is so easy. That is something Game Maker gets right. Game Maker, like, that is so simple. I guess I like having the functions for stuff like collisions over here and just being able to add the method in. I think that's really nice. Okay, so instance destroy. There we go. Okay, so now if we place a load of enemies in the room, run around, we can start destroying enemies. Whoa! That was sick. Come at me. Stand no chance. I think we should start doing some artwork, otherwise the video is going to be pretty boring. What does a gnome look like, guys? I don't know if you know. I'm actually crazy pixel art. He looks kind of funny with his eyes together like that. Alright, that's frame one. What are we saying, guys? What are we saying? Yes? No? I mean, you don't really get a choice, but like, I'm giving you the illusion of free will here. Oh, go on, no. I'm the greatest animator that's ever lived. I'm like Disney. The, like the man, not the company. That's what I'm like right now. There he is! Fully animated character. I'm the greatest. All right, somebody suggested that we use thumb as our enemy. And I think that's a good idea. I am doing a thumbs up right now, you just can't see it.
Oh my god. I don't know what's happened. Oh my god. Yo! Juice! Juice! What I'm thinking, right, guys, is we change this background and we make it water, and then we have the gnome in like a lily pad. Or on a lily pad. Maybe add some like you know, like uh water effects underneath the ducks. Guys, this already looks so much better with the water theme. But now I'm thinking maybe we change the gnome. What could we do instead of a gnome? Maybe something that's not supposed to be in the water, you know? Maybe a frog. The ducks eat frogs, that thing. A worm. Worm is a great idea. I just think it's gonna be really hard for me to draw. No, remember, I'm the greatest animator of all time. <laughs> there we go. Got a worm on a lily pad. What could we replace the hammer with, do you reckon, guys? I honestly like the hammer. Like, I don't think it needs to be replaced. It just does look a little bit out of place. Maybe you could even make it a little leaf. Like, have the lily pad and then have, like, a smaller version of the lily pad. Oh my god, that thing is huge. There we go. Maybe we make them, like, uh, what's, what are those? Lily pad flower. The pink ones. Yeah, water lily. What if we make it one of these? There we go. That looks better. With some sounds, this is gonna be so juicy. Feels very impactful already when you hit something. You got the little flash, you got the, sh the screen shake. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. I'm gonna have a nap. I don't know how long I'm gonna be. I'm awake, I'm back. <sighs> oh, I'm very tired, but I'm motivated. No webcam till morning. I feel like it's bad to do this, but I could draw the sprites again. Just don't, I don't think the pixel art looks like my style. Thanks for the follow, man. Cause my, all my 2D games look kind of shit. I want to actually try. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better now. It's a lot more coherent, you know? Right, we really do need to get a move on. But at least we've decided on the art style. That's the main thing. Hey, okay, XP OBJ. Oh. Okay, so we have the XP bar now, so there we go, so the XP bar is filling up, what we actually want to do is add in the crystals, it's kind of like Minecraft, hey. that is way too big, oh it's all coming together now, if we kill this, yeah, so that makes sure it spawns, and then if we want to go and pick them up, Why is it all of a sudden doing that? So now we've got the XP bar in the top. So now if we grab the XP, boom. Beautiful. That's, I'm pretty sure, another thing off our list. Nice, this is sick. That's done. So I think upgrades is the next thing. Maybe just like a laser would be a good one. What else have we got? Oil spill. That could be a good one. Looks about right. Pretty much perfect for now. There we go. Okay, so that that's working now. All right, there we go. That was my Vampire Survivors clone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything in this video was made with Game Maker, and in my opinion, Game Maker is a really good starting point for new developers who want to get into making games. So if that sounds like you, there's a link in the description for Game Maker. There should be some new videos out soon, so I'll see you guys then. Jesus, I need some sleep.